So um, I was going to adjust this, and I thought, why not record it? And my mic just happened to work here from last time, so let's try it. Um, I grabbed one, and I don't really do masks per se, but um, I do select areas at times, and often this is real hot. So let's protect it by doing that. And what that does is it uh, selects just that area. Now we don't want the edges to be too sharp. So we're going to do as far as the, uh, the corrections and versus non-corrections. So I'm going to go into um, select, modify, feather. And I'm going to feather that edge, uh, probably 13. And then I'm going to go select inverse. And um, this means everything outside the area I just selected. And just for grins, again, I mean, I like to jump in there and, and I know it's too much magenta and too much. Red, but just to play with it, do auto color. Oh my God. <laughs> that's really nice. Okay, so that's a good start. Otherwise, I do a control Z and bring it back and I can get in here and do it myself. I'll do a selective color and I can do reds and I can pull the magenta out of there and make it more dusty. I see the yellows look uh, kind of green, so I'm going to go into the yellows add some magenta, play with the red on it, good. Um, it's still a lot of magenta, I'm going to go into the magenta, and, oh that helped, alright, so there's your magenta, I'm going to draw it out of there, and it's too far, so I'm going to come back in just, just till it's, just till it's not too magenta, and also there's some blue in there too, so I'm going to go into the blues here. And pull that out. And uh, let's go look at our blacks. Let's bring them down to where blacks are close. And you can still see it's kind of a rosy black. So let's pull out some magenta. Uh, that's better. Um, it could be a little blue. So let's add a little gold. And let's darken it again. Overall, it seems yellow. As you look into this, the uh, the whites, they look a little yellow. Let's go into whites, pull some yellow. Now they're looking pink, so I'm going to pull some magenta. Just play with the cyan. That looks pretty neutral. Check this here. Not too bad. Now... Let's try auto tone once. Image adjust auto tone. Sometimes it overdoes, so I'm gonna un. But it gives you an idea of what needs to be done. So I'm gonna Control Z it, and I see a lot of I see a lot of noise. Let's go back a minute. Select inverse. None of these are the same. I mean, I just kind of make this up as I go. And some are quick and some are not so quick. Um, select inverse. Where is it? There it is. And let's bring that core down a little bit. Image, adjust, selective color. That's the whites are hot. So we'll see if we can't bring those. See how you can get them super hot or bring them down? You're going to make, make them black. So we'd want them just, I mean, we don't want them burnt, but we want some detail in there. And then we're going to correct that. It looks very cyan in there, so I'm going to pull that. Oh, that helped. And I see the cyan is more in the, in the darks in here, in this black now. So I'm going to go into the blacks, and I'm going to pull that cyan out of there. Why not much? I can't see much effect, so maybe it is neutrals. And 
uh, it helps a bit. So, this is still very golden outside, which I don't really like. It would help if I could zoom in. And let's go select inverse. We're back on the outside again. Image. You know what that looks like? Looks like yellow probably in the uh, neutrals. And I can't talk and think at the same time, so I can't, I can't find what I was looking for. But let's go to yellows. Let's darken them. Let's pull that magenta out of those yellows. Let's pull some yellow out of those yellows. Better. I'm zooming out. So the dust is starting to look like dust. Now there's a lot of noise there. Let's see what we can do on the noise. Let's go to um, our flattener. It really doesn't need to be flattened. It, it looks pretty flat, but there's a lot of noise. And the noise you can often, I'm just turning the flattener off here. I'll leave a little of that. This gets rid of the noise, but heck, you want to leave a lot of that goodness in there. So come back and just fade it a hair. And the difference would be, that's before and that's after. And if you don't, well, actually, we're going to boost it up. I'm going to keep that much gone. And then let's do, um, I want to do this in... Uh, 16 bits and I'm calling up levels and I'm going to stretch the middle the middles the mids this is the mid this is the left black white mids and I'm stretching the mids a little bit and that will bring that dust back teeny bits at a time just see how teeny I'm moving it we would prefer not to see any gaps in the histogram over here. It's not the end of the world if there's a little bit. But, so I stretched it some, and that truly is, that's noise. So it should have been, if not, um, it should have been dithered, and um, it should be sigma clipped, and that would get rid of that. That's clearly noise. So let's do a uh, quick noise removal here. Let's do plugins, no filters, filters, topaz labs, noise. And that's a big help already. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And let's really push the noise. There we go. No longer noise now that it's all blurred out. See the noise there? Watch up in here. And it's gone. And then you can sharpen too. Over sharpening can ruin things, or you know, so you want a little sharpen. And then I sometimes like to do a, a recover original detail a little bit, and it throws a touch of that noise back in there. It's so noisy that we're gonna back that off. That's looking better. And we're zoomed in, and I see a little noise zoomed in, but at 100%, it'll look fantastic. Look at that. All right, so let's do it. I'm going to say uh, you can also do color noise reduction. Doesn't hurt. Apply. Oops, I hope um, I wasn't watching the size of the screen. I hope what I did there was in the recording. Looking good. These blacks, now, yeah, there's dust. And where there's dust, it won't be a black black. But let's find an area where it's pretty black. That's black because of dust. But, and see if we can't correct that black. So we're going to go select. Selective color. Really, the reds could... Go a bit of cyan. And then we can go to the blacks. 
Let's pull some of that out of there again. It's dust, man. Make it look like dust. That's not dust. It's red. And if you want, you can even go into the neutrals and lighten it so it adds dust. But keep your blacks black. All right. Uh, the dust looks pretty cool. It, uh, there's really a lot of color problems in the center here. It's weak, so let's do um, saturation. 27 is pretty good. And let's just add color by painting it where we want it. We're not painting it. We're just increasing saturation. And you can even do it out in the dust if you want. Or you can just go image, adjustments, saturation. And there's a slider that pops up and we can increase the whole thing. And overdo it so you can see, you know, and underdo it. And you want to put it where it looks best. Don't overdo it. Always, when you're making adjustments, always go a little less than what you think. And uh, let's see if we can restore some color in here. It's really quite pretty in there. And that, that blue doesn't belong there. So what we can do is collect the, grab the brush here, set it from normal to color, sample this color. That means I'm pressing Alt and clicking the color I want. And then I can just tap a little bit, make sure it's turned way down on level. And it'll just transform that area that was kind of a blue into more of a neutral. I'm also, because there's so many cool, look at those wisps in there. I'm going to grab the uh, dodge tool and make it very small. And I'm going to say dodge the highlights very weak and what that will do is add a little contrast to those cool effects and just bring them out a little bit and what that does is because i'm doing just the highlights it's dodging or lightening the lightest areas only essentially adding more contrast to the cool stuff and um, alternatively we can also go to burn tool and tell it the shadows which is the darkest areas and it'll darken those which again adding more contrast by making the darks darker and the lights lighter you can define more detail out of there now that's what we got here and I can jump back a little bit and see to that. And that's pretty too. It's just that it's harder to see the coolness. So it just lifts it out a little bit. You can also um, grab the dodge tool and hit all this dust out here. That star right there is really pretty. It's a neat star trail on it. Okay, and I see some other issues here. Our whites up in here. This is always a different color white than the whites down in here. Oh, so if we want and we don't want to affect the rest of it, we'll just select that area. Oops, my finger bumped it. And we're we and if we just work on it like that, we will have a a line a problem. See. So what we want to do is feather that edge. To feather, you do select because it's a selection. Modify. Oops, hold on here. Select, modify, feather the edge. And this, the amount that you feather is uh, really depends on the image size. If it's a small image, you do it less. If it's a big, huge 
in Orion that you would do it more. I'm going to just keep it at 13 and say OK. All right, now we can work on just this. So I'm going to do Image, Adjustments, Selective. It, this is supposed to be some kind of white or neutral, and it looks very pink. So let's go into Whites and pull the pink out, which is magenta. See the difference? Now the problem is the whites are stars, so we don't want to go too far. They start getting yellow, so I'm just going to pull a little out of there. And then I'm going to go into the neutrals, which is more of the cloudy area. Ooh, see how much that's pulling the pink out. So real pink, real green in between. And put it when that the white area starts to look neutral. Almost a little yellow, so I'm going to put that blue back in there by pulling some yellow. And then the, this red is always a different red, too. It's really a, it's a cool red. I don't know if it's more magenta or not. Let's see. Nope, I don't like that. It's more like that. So you just play with each one. You know what else I'd like to do with that? Um... Let's grab saturation. And it's all just playing. I look at it and think that should be more pronounced. That should be more colorful. And I'm just doing saturation and I'm trying to limit it to the red. A little running man thing in there. And if there's too much pink around it, let's go to desaturate and, and reduce the color. And this part over here is more of a deep red. And this is more of a magenta red. I like the magenta red for this. So I'm going to sample that in color mode and color it. It just bends it all into the same, the same color. Then I notice I'm going to sample color outside the selection, because I notice it's a little different color than inside, and I'm going to just bring it in a little, just because my feather maybe was too abrupt. And let's undo that and see what happens. There it is. We could do the same thing there. We could increase the, um, uh, let's do dodge highlights, very low on the, on the amount when using this. And I'm just clicking crazy all over. Bring those back out. There's some coolness in here. It's also crap because he's got um, some vignetting or something going on around the edge there so we surely don't need it it's cooler to crop in on the target but let's go happy medium let's do target and cool dust and i'm gonna move it up a little and place the target just a little nicer in the frame and oops drop my glasses let's do crop let's see that would be image crop Pretty cool. Let's darken the reds in the main target here. And I really, it, it has a, it goes from pink to this peach here, and that's not really a norm. So what I'm going to do is grab the color brush, sample a little of this more magenta-ish color, and slightly paint. I'm just bending the color of this area here to be more in line with this, this brighter pink up here. And I like that better. Then I'd like to see more detail in this area that's always cool so we're going to go shadows 
oops, and it's a little heavy, so I'm going to go, I'm going to do an undo. This is my his history of what I've done. I'm going to undo that and bring this down lower, so less effect. But look at how cool that stuff is in there. Like that guy that paints on TV. It's, it's the almighty it's the tree. Almighty tree here. <laughs> What's his name, Bob? Something. Darken that darks. And darken these darks, because that's, that's actually dark dust that's in the space. Very cool. I like it. Now, as I sit back and I'm about ready to save it, I just kind of look at it a little bit and I see some pink up here and these stars. So let's do selective color adjustments, selective whites, and pull the magenta out of there to make those stars look. There we go. A little red, so I'm going to put a little more cyan in them. Not too bad. Go back into the yellows and put just a little, they seem slightly green, so add a little magenta to the dust. You can lighten and darken the dust. That's somewhat to taste, so. And I still see pink in here. Let's go to the whites and pull some magenta. Then it gets yellow. So I am going to leave that. And just for grins here, let's see what auto color does. I'm going to do um, edit. That's actually probably more correct, but a lot of people really get off on that dust, so <laughs> let's leave it. And again, this was, shoot, this was, these guys are pink down here. Those are a little pink. So I'm going to do image adjust, selective color, whites, pull the magenta. See, let's see the whites change. Those are actually cyan stars. And I didn't feather, so let's hope we don't see an edge. Not too bad. Honey, I'm making a little video. That's not too bad. There's slightly overall green cyan in that outer, in all of the outer area. Select. Help me here, modify. Feather. I dropped my glasses on the floor, so I can't see. <laughs> and then we're going to do select inverse. Thank you, honey. She's getting my glasses. You see them? Not that they help me much up close. But... All right. So we got all the dust selected. It seems just slightly green to me. So I wonder what would happen if we did auto. It would probably do too much contrast, but. It's easy to undo, so let's look. Edit. Uh, actually, where do you do? Image. Image. Auto color. Yeah, it really kicks it down. And See, auto doesn't know what it is. So, but you could do uh, brightness and contrast. We can add a touch of contrast, a little bit of bringing it down in brightness. It's still kind of green, so I'm going to do uh, overall color balance, and let's put just a touch of red in there, touch of 
magenta, and probably yellow. And there's before and after, just slight. I'm going to keep the after. And I can play with those reds some more. I mean, any time you can say I'm done, but. And this is kind of to taste, but I tend to try and do what would be natural on it. Actually, I like that better, even though it's not as saturated. So I left it there, and I'm going to saturate it just a touch. Actually, we can saturate the whole thing. Image adjust, saturation. Crank it up a few points. This seems a little too colorful, so I am going to do desaturation and pull some of that carnival of color out of there because, again, that's dust. Pretty cool. And let's bring up those lights a little bit again, those highlights, because this, this is my favorite area. It's not too bad. Image adjust is check levels. Here's our black. This is where the blacks actually start in the histogram. This is where the, it is in the image. We're going to just darken those blacks. And then if you want to bring that dust back, the midtones, we'll bring that up a touch. This one would be your whites, but we're already blown out. Just watch. They'll just blow out those whites. We don't want that. And that's probably about the best we can do. Now, a lot of times I'll look at it and go, yeah, I don't know if I did anything, if it's that much different. But what I do then is do a select all, edit, copy, and then go back to the very first. Ooh, a lot done. Image, canvas, push down 26 and 26 would be 52 edit paste and we had cropped some too so put it about there crop them both to put online image crop and then sometimes when it's when I can compare it to the original I might see another color again it almost seems a hair yellow green still so I'm gonna grab just mine image adjust selective color get into the neutrals pull out some yellow Add some magenta. It's getting red again, though. I don't like that. Just for the heck of it, let's try greens. There usually are no greens, but sometimes by mistake and noise, they get in there. The green does. I just tried to pull out green. And I'm going to go cyan, and I'm going to pull out yellow. Which yellow and cyan or yellow and blue make greens? Neutrals. Still going back to reds. Keep it there. I'm going to stop with it there. And I'll post this online. Hope it helps.